YouTube Frogs 2.3 trailer has introduced to us new artifact options. Now, these artifact pieces are very niche and only applicable on very specific characters, including the new ones coming in the second half of 2.3 with Ito and Goro. Unlike the 2.3 Inuzuma artifacts, Emblem and Chimanawas, whose two-piece bonuses had immense universality amongst most of the Genshin roster, those that are interested in farming the 2.3 super-specific artifacts know exactly what they're aiming for. If you clicked on this video and you have zero intention of farming these artifacts, but you're here just to listen to me talk about whatever Genshin stuff, thanks. I appreciate you. Okay, so how much of an improvement can we expect over pre-existing options, especially for existing characters? Let's jump in and find out. Alright, so general overview of the stats you can see on the screen here. I'm about to read a senior thesis in these description links, so get ready. Husk of Opulent Dreams, Husk Set for short, grants 30% defense on the two-piece set, identical to Defender's World, which is the four-star counterpart. Four-piece set is a stack-based effect called Curiosity. Each stack grants 6% defense and geo damage bonus, up to four times for a total of 24% defense and geo damage bonus. On field characters, when dealing geo damage, gain a stack up to 0.3 seconds. Stack rate is very fast for on field characters, as fast as 1.2 seconds, granting the total of 54% defense and 24% geo damage bonus from this set. Off field characters, when dealing geo damage bonus, stack 10 times slower, once every 3 seconds instead of 0.3. This takes 12 seconds for the full value to add up. And Ocean Hued Clam, we'll call Clam Set for short, grants 15% healing bonus on the two-piece set, identical to Maiden's Beloved, which is the five-star set farmed counterpart from Beardescent Dungeon. The four-piece set produces a foam for three seconds, which accumulates the total amount of healing from the character wearing this set, and then expends 90% of that as AoE damage on explosion after those three seconds are over. Maximum HP absorbed is 30,000 HP, which leads me to believe maximum damage output is 27,000 AoE. This foam has a 3.5 second cooldown, before reactivating. So this is an extremely niche set and a damage form of Maiden's Beloved, basically only applicable on Barbara and Kokomi. Probably Kokomi's strongest four-piece set, though I'm not really sure if it's more efficient than, for example, two-piece Maiden's two-piece Clam or a universal 30% healing bonus. Other healing-based characters either have usage with Noblesse set and buffing capabilities, i.e. Bennett, or a Beardess and Venerous set for the resistance shred, i.e. Jean. So, both of these sets are very specific to a few characters. Most of you won't ever need to touch this dungeon, but if you are interested in APAC Ito and a good boy Goro, there's actually value in farming this dungeon for the Geo set. We know how specific the Clam set is, and if you're a Kokomi main, you'll want at least a two-piece set from there to combine with your two-piece maidens or go all the way to four-piece Clam. Let's dive a little into the Husk and Clam set and see how strong they are. So, zooming in on the Husk set, at max stacks it grants 54% defense and 24% geo damage bonus like we mentioned. Other options we would have for generic defense geo based characters is for example 2 piece Husk and 2 piece Petra. This grants 30% defense and then 15% geo damage bonus. Noblesse also is 20% burst but that is locked to burst damage bonus. So, not running the 4 piece Husk set for on field stacking characters loses 24% defense and 9% geo damage bonus. That is the difference of 2 piece Husk, 2 piece Petra versus 4 piece Husk max stacks. My opinion, this 24% defense and 9% geo damage bonus is pretty significant and essentially a 33% loss of stats for a character, which can range between a 15 to 20% DPS loss. For off field characters, though, it takes 12 seconds to receive the full value. So on average, we can take a two stack four piece versus a husk Petra for those characters. So for off-field characters, let's just say there are only two stack husk, this comes out to 42% defense and 12% geo damage bonus compared to a 30-15 split. So for off-field characters, it's a 12% defense trade in beneficial for the husk set while losing a 3% geo damage bonus. So the difference here is much, much smaller. And for units that cannot maintain the permanent uptime of four piece husk, I offer a two piece, two piece. Though I don't think we really have any characters currently that would fall in that category. Now, Albedo's four piece husk does take a little bit of time to ramp up because he's an off field stacking character and his transient blossoms can only proc once every two seconds. However, if you do do an E and then auto for those 0.3 seconds, you can get two stacks immediately. But once he's ramped up, he can maintain the bonus infinitely without having to restack. So for him, in my opinion, it's beneficial to go for four piece for the end game. Two piece, two piece, Petra Husk is still really good though. So very likely Ito is really going to want the four piece, given how quickly we've seen his Claymore move post burst. For Goro, we may need to see a little bit more info to see if four piece Husk is worth over two piece Petra, two piece Husk. Moving towards end game builds though, four piece Husk granting up to 54% defense and 24% geo damage bonus unlocks a very useful and potentially overlooked change for certain characters. Depending on how necessary burst uptime is for the upcoming characters, with four piece Husk, 
there may be value in going an energy recharge timepiece instead of the usual main set of attack percent, defense, or HP percent for better burst uptime. So the set already provides a huge steroid, and with some defense substats, it may be a good balance to overall stats. Crazy how the tables have turned, don't you think? Those defense percent substat lines that we've all come to dread may actually come as a positive farming for 2.3. Depending on the kits, we may see this line of build path viable for Ito and Noel. So this brings up the last defense scaling character and trusty Favonius made Noel. Don't mind my Noel stat right now i shifted a lot of artifacts on all my characters so don't take this as a standard noel build so the strongest for her usually comes down to four piece of bolide set for her personal shield strength of 35 percent and normal charge attack damage gain of 40 percent while protected by that shield so the four piece husk set would be trading 35 percent shield strength and 40 percent normal charge damage for 54% defense and 24% geo. Noelle's burst, by the way, should be racking up the four stacks on the husk set in the first four autos, so max stack husk can definitely be achieved and relatively easily maintained for Noelle's burst. Between these two sets now, between a four bolide and a four husk set Noelle, it depends on what you value more. 35% shield strength is very strong personally for her. Or you can offer a potentially more DPS output build with the Husk set. I'd say that both are great under different conditions. I want to remind you guys that for Noel, if you do run a four piece Husk set, this allows you to run Noel as an energy recharge, geo damage, and crit based build. So energy recharge on the timepiece, geo damage on the comp, and crit rate or crit damage on the mask. Because she'll be able to receive more defense percent from the substats and get that defense from the substats and the artifact set, and then maintain excellent burst uptime with the energy recharge timepiece. So I think this is really efficient if you don't mind the loss in shield strength. And then lastly, a little bit more in depth for Albedo, since primarily his damage comes from his transient blossoms, which is his off-field skill damage, his elemental skills off-field skill damage. We only need to really worry about his defense and general geo damage bonus. His burst, in my opinion, comes more to light if you're running a Constellation 2 Albedo because it actually gets a significant damage increase from the defense scaling. In my opinion, for Albedo, it's not a priority to get him on a four-piece husk set. The amount of resin to rebuild may not be as efficient as completing endgame pieces for your other carries. So unless you really favor him particularly, I think two Petra, two husk set, which is going to replace my Noblesse set, is a great alternative until you finally have time and resin to farm for his endgame set on top of our other incoming Geo defense based characters. And I think that should be pretty comprehensive for the Husk set. Now, for the Clam set, like I mentioned, is what I would call, quote, an extra set included in this artifact domain. The domain is already a niche dungeon to farm, so putting this set meant for Kogomi along with what is designed for Goro and Ito from the Husk set is actually a beneficial decision for most of us. I feel like the designers wanted to add an extra set for DPS healing for Kokomi mains, and then putting it with another niche set benefits those gamers who will most likely pick up Goro to team up with his commander, and maybe spot an Ito in the process while pulling. So between a 4-piece clam set Kokomi, a 2-piece clam 2-piece maidens for Kokomi depends on how strong that 27k damage foam every 6.5 seconds, which is 3 second duration and 3.5 second cooldown, Will be. I'm going to remain skeptical, so we'll see down the line since I'm going to be farming this artifact domain for Ito pieces and maybe pick up some clam pieces for Kokomi as a byproduct. And I think that wraps up most of my thoughts on these new 2.3 artifacts. If you guys enjoyed the video and learned a little bit from it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check me out on Twitch if you'd like, link is in the description. And for those aiming to farm this dungeon, I wish you the best RNG drops for whichever character you're aiming for. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll catch you gamers on the next one. Take care.